This former chemical handling facility received bulk shipments of hazardous chemicals by rail and tractor trailer. These chemicals were offloaded into large above-ground storage tanks as shown here in the yellow circle. Incidental spills occurred both loading the tanks and when the chemicals were consolidated into smaller drums and containers for resale. A wide variety of chemicals were spilled on the surface of the site and the two adjacent industrial facilities. These chemicals drained into the surface detention ditch as shown here in blue which allowed the chemicals to seep into the ground and impact groundwater. This resulted in an accumulation of chemicals such as PCE and TCE in groundwater that required remediation. The levels of these compounds were as high as 400,000 micrograms per liter concentrations that are documented to be toxic and inhibitive to biodegradation. Chlorinated solvents such as PCE and TCE biologically degrade through a process called reductive dechlorination. Under highly reduced conditions, higher chlorinated ethenes serve as electron acceptors for microbes like dehalococoides, resulting in their dechlorination. Dehalococoides has the capability of dechlorinating these compounds all the way to ethene. Other microbes contribute to this process by partial dechlorination of PCE and TCE or by providing energy sources for the reductive dechlorination process. The Bioenhanced Institute Bioreactor, or ISBR, accelerates this process by rapidly cultivating indigenous microbes involved in the reductive dechlorination process and releasing them into the contaminated aquifer. These microbes grow into the aquifer matrix following gradients of limiting nutrients. The result is higher rates of reductive dechlorination in the aquifer. You can think of the ISBR as a bioaugmentation process. It is important to note though that the ISBR is bioaugmenting by increasing numbers of indigenous microbes that are already adapted to local environmental conditions. Three months after ANLP commenced the sustained bioaugmentation remedial action by using bioenhancers in situ bioreactors, levels of PCE and TCE were observed to be reduced by as much as 90%. By September 2018, mass transformation of the released chlorinated solvents were observed to be converted to their biological breakdown products, dichloroethene and vinyl chloride. By animating the levels of chemicals over time, we observed a rebound, that is an increase in the PCE and TCE in both source areas. This prompted an investigation that resulted in a quick design modification, now incorporated in all anaerobic bioreactors. The modification solved the problem, and stimulation of the reductive, the halogenation, resumed as shown below.